Hello YouTube and welcome to your 10th Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial I will be teaching you guys more about loops and we will be learning the while loop. Now I haven't posted a Visual C++ tutorial in a while and um, the reason uh, behind that is because I've been sticking to mainly Java for the past couple weeks and um, also because I've been really busy with like school and friends and stuff because it just started. But um, I've been sticking with Java because that's the class that I'm taking at my high school. And um, for those of you wondering, some of you think I'm in college. Um, I'm actually a sophomore in high school and I'm 15 years old. So um, just to clear that up. And another reason why I'm doing C++ tutorials now is because um, apparently you guys really like these. I'm, I've been watching my videos, seeing what's getting the views. And um, I also got an email from YouTube saying that one of my C++ tutorials got a lot of views and that they want me to sign up for a partnership so I decided to start making more of these so um thanks for that thanks for watching them and while we're on the subject go ahead and click the like like button um, I know you guys are probably sick of hearing this from people who you watch videos from but um it really helps my channel to grow and for me to get more subscribers and if I get more subscribers and know that more people like my videos I'm gonna be more va more motivated to put out more videos um, than I am right now. So um, let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial. Now in the last tutorial we did a for loop and so basically what a for loop does is it you can write a couple lines of code and you can run that line of code as many times as you want. It's a set value so like if you want to do the loop the code inside the loop ten times it'll do that ten times every time. And um, with a while loop, a while loop can run as many times as you need it to. So for example, if somebody's playing a game, you create a while loop, while winning equals true, then it'll display your winning at the top. And it'll always display your winning and it'll go through that loop and um, it'll keep going through as many times as it need to, needs to. And then if winning is equal to false, um, then you can have it do something else. So that's what a, a while loop is useful for. Um, that's a really uh, rough like explanation of it. But um, try and get your head wrapped around that. So let's go ahead and start typing our code. Now you can see I already made a project here. And uh, I've made my main function. And uh, in C++ they're called functions. Java they're called methods. Uh, I, bit, I get them mixed up all the time. I'm really bad about that. But just remember that. So we're going to pound include string because we're going to be using some strings. And um, so we're going to start off by declaring int x is equal to 0. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start our while loop. So while x is less than 10, do all of the code inside of these curly braces. So we'll just see out hello. And we want to add one to x by using x plus plus, which will just add one. You can use minus minus to subtract one. But the reason we want to do this is because if we don't do that, x is always going to be less than 10 and it'll create an infinite loop and infinite loops are bad because um, they can cause a lot of pro problems in the program and they'll freeze up and stuff. So um, let's go ahead and run this and you can see that it displayed hello ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So some of you are probably thinking well this is dumb why couldn't you just use the for loop for this um, because it did it ten times and it's a set uh, amount of times. Well I'm about to make another while loop that will show you guys an example of how it will do it as many times as it needs to. So let's go ahead and create a new variable. We'll call it string name and we'll set it equal to, let's do the lowercase sam. And we want what we want to do is while name, oh, and um, right there, probably should have used while x is, oh wait, never mind, my bad. Um, just ignore what I just typed in. So while name equals Sam, we're going to see out 
Hello, Sam. And after we end that line, we're going to see out not Sam. Who are you? And then we'll go ahead and end the line there. And what we're going to do is we're going to use get line. And if you don't know what get line is, then I suggest you go back to my earlier tutorial, um, which teaches you get line. And so we're going to go ahead and type get line, cn, and name. And then we'll just do cn dot clear. All right. So basically, what this is going to do is, um, since name is equal to Sam, it's going to start the while loop because name is already equal to Sam, and um, it'll see out hello Sam, and it'll see out not Sam. Who are you? And then if you type in Sam, it'll go through the loop again, and um, if you type in something else, then the loop is going to end. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and run it and show it to you, and then that'll be the end of the tutorial. So go ahead and run it, and it says, hello, Sam, not Sam, who are you? And if I type in Sam, it'll just keep doing that code over and over and over. And then if I type something else like John, then nothing happens. So um, go ahead, look at this code, make a couple programs of, um, by yourself. Uh, I can't stress that enough because... It'll help you remember it, and the more you practice it, the more it's just going to stick in your head. And um, then once you've got that down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.